Hi, I'm Arthur Peterson, and I'm going to explain to you how to play the four game. The Tooth Fairy game. I'm here with two of my daughters, who I kind of designed the game for, so it's perfect. We have Cerise and Michaela. Okay, so the first game is the baby tooth game, and it's actually called That's My Tooth. So in That's My Tooth, this is the game that's most suited for uh, kids and little children. We put on the box six and up. My daughters were playing it when they were younger than six, so it kind of depends on if your kids can handle it. But basically in That's My Tooth, there's no turns. So the way it works is everybody puts an equal number of each color's tooth in their bag, and your goal is to pull out, say I'm purple, Cerise is green, Michaela's blue. Uh, the entire point is to get only your colors out. So I have an equal number of all the colors. If when I get all of my teeth out of my color, then I can scream Tooth Fairy, and that means I win. If she pulls out green first, then she wins and so forth. Now the trick is, when you're pulling out, if you pull out something that's not your color, like here's light blue, not my color, I can pick it up and put it in someone else's bag to clog up their bag and make it harder for them. So it's just a frantic game of just putting teeth in other people's bags and collecting your own. So I'll demonstrate for 15 seconds. All right, ready girls? So when you pull out, we have three of each, right? Normally you play it with five, for this we're doing three. So when you have three green or three blue, you win. Okay, ready? Go. And one at a time. Also, of course, you're not allowed to look in your bag. Oh, I'm not getting it. You know what? Not supposed to block you, cheater. <laughs> okay, so the second game is called Pulling Teeth. This is for two to five players. And it's, we call it the old tooth game, but it's totally for all, all ages. So in this game, what you do is everybody takes their bag and pour out everything from your bag. Pour out everything from your bag. Okay? Now in this, what you do, it's all secret. At the end of the game, what you want is you want secretly in your hand two of every color. Okay? So, we start with nothing in our hands and nothing in our backs. For setup, what we do is everybody takes 10 teeth of any color you want, secretly. So you can take five yellows and five blues, or a mixture, it doesn't matter. Don't let other people know what your 10 ones are. So, put, take 10 and put it in your back. Now what we do is we're gonna take turns rolling this one die, okay? And depending on what you roll, you get to do a different thing. And most of them involve taking a tooth out of a bag, and you can always choose any of the bags. So, you keep it in what's in your hand secret. So Marilyn, why don't you roll first? Okay, a two. A two is you can roll, you can pull two random teeth from any of the three bags. That's not really your bag, we just have three bags now. Okay, so take two random teeth. Now a roll of a one or a three is the corresponding number of teeth. That many random teeth from any bag. Right, so one, two, and three are pretty simple. Now, Amelia, let's say you rolled a four. So a four is different. So let's say I've collected a few right here, right, and I have secret in my hands. If you roll a four, then you choose another player, and, the, and you tell us to place one of our teeth back into a bag. So who do you want to place a tooth back in the bag? You don't look, you just tell us. Okay, so I'm gonna put this tooth in this bag. So that's how a four would work. Right? Okay, a five is you pull a random tooth from another player's head. And the sixth, which is the most awesome, if you roll a six, you get to look, where's your hand? You have a teeth. In a six, you get to look into a player's hand and pull a tooth. Now you wouldn't be able to see, only me. That's what you do if you roll a six. So in this game, it's all about how you set up your bag, and this is a largely luck-based game, right? The first game is also a little bit luck. The first two are mostly luck, and the last two are mostly um, bidding and betting. But basically, you want to have two of every color at the end, and that's how you win. Okay, for this third game, it is called Lie Through Your Teeth, and oh! Where did Amelia go? Oh, here's Christine. So in Lie Through Your Teeth, it's kind of like our take on the classic liar's dice, but with a few twists along the way. Okay, so first what you do is everybody has a bag and with no teeth in it, and the goal of this game is to have the most teeth in your bag after five rounds of play. So here's how each round goes. So first, I'll roll the die, I'll go first. I roll the die secretly and get secretly that number of teeth of any colors and put it in my bag. So, this, okay. 
All right, now you roll it secretly. So we don't know how many total, so unlike liar's dice, we don't know how many total teeth there even are going to be, right? And that'll accumulate over rounds, let alone what colors. All right, we all have teeth. All right, so that's the, the setup of each round goes like that. We add teeth to our bag in secret amounts and colors. So then we guess, I will go first again, I will guess how many teeth there are of a certain color between all three bags. So I'm gonna say, there are five green teeth. Now, anytime someone could call me a liar. Anybody want to call me a liar yet? Okay, so we think there's at least five green teeth. Now, your turn, and you're going to either say the same number of teeth in a different color, such as five blue teeth, or go up one like six green teeth or seven green teeth. So what do you think? Six. Six green teeth? Green teeth. Okay, what do you think? Six yellow teeth. Six yellow teeth. I think you're a liar. Okay, so let's check. So we all dump out our bags and count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! You are exactly correct. Okay, so I accused her. She was correct that she said there were six yellow teeth, and there were. So what happens is the loser has to give half of my teeth. I have to give half of my teeth to you as the winner. Don't let either of us see which of the two teeth. Well, I'll know because I'll look, but Christine won't know. So we put those in. And then that's round one. Now we start up round two, adding more teeth secretly to our bag. So although you could memorize exactly what it is when we reveal when someone's called a liar, the next round will add more teeth and more teeth and more teeth. And by the fifth round, you will have no idea. And it gets crazier and crazier. And so that's lie through your teeth. Okay, <laughs> we are now with the fourth game, which is the gold tooth game. It is called treasure teeth. And this is my personal favorite of the game, although life through your teeth is pretty fun too. Um, okay, so in Treasure Teeth, the one difference between this game is it is only two to three players. The other games are two to five, this one's two to three. We have three of us here, so this is perfect. So we've already set up the game in which you take all the teeth of your color and put it in your bag. So I have red, Christine has purple, Madeline has green. So what we do now is that we, here we have the two remaining colors of teeth, which is yellow and light blue. We will go around rolling a die and we will put that many teeth of any combination of colors into the treasure pot. This is a bidding game. We're gonna be bidding on the teeth in the middle and we are going to see who has the most, after, after the treasure pot is empty, who has the most of all the teeth and they will win. Each tooth is worth one or two points. And the thing is, each of us have already secretly selected a color tooth and we don't know what each other has. So each of us has either yellow or blue, and the one they have is worth two points for us. So if I have blue, blue's worth two for me and yellow's worth one. Christine might have yellow, and that means yellow is worth two for her and blue is worth one for her. All right, so that's the treasure pot. This is what we're gonna be bidding on. Now, the next part, we use these to earn our bid, to, to gamble for our bid, if you will. So what we do is one of us will roll a die, so I'll roll a die. Okay, six, that's a great starting roll. But basically what you do is we all now secretly take between six and up to double, so 12 in this case, if it was a five, five to 10, if it was a four, four to eight. So in our case, six to 12, take between six and 12 secretly of our teeth and distribute them secretly between your two hands. So if you're taking six, you could do three and three, five and one. If you're taking 10, because that's between six and 12, you could do five and five for 10. So neither of us knows exactly how many teeth the other people have, and neither of us knows how it's distributed among our hands. Now, when you have yours, you're, you're between six and 12 distributed between your hands, and it could be zero. You could have 12 in one, zero in the other hand. It doesn't matter. You just have to have between that number and double it. Now, what's gonna happen is I am gonna select one of Christine's hands. She is going to select one of Madeline's. Put your hands here. Madeline just select one of mine. After we've all selected, we all reveal and see who wins the bid. So, and one, two, three, reveal. So I have one, two, three, four, five. You have one, you have six. So Madeline, you won. So we take all the ones of our bid, and this is why you may not want to start off with 12, and you put them in a box, discard and out of the game, all of them. You won, so you get all six of these, three of each color. So put them in the box, all the ones you get. So we don't know whether Madeline prefers blue or yellow. Like I said at the beginning, either blue or yellow is worth two points for her. But since she has three blue and three yellow, we know she has nine points. 
because three of those were two, three are worth one, and that's the first round. And we keep going, we, we keep repeating, so the next round, one, we go between one and two, split with our hands, and you keep going like that. And that is how you play treasure teeth. When the pot is empty, the person with those teeth wins. And those are how you play the four games in the... The Tooth Fairy Game.